Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. You can see from the title, we are doing things a little bit differently today. Usually I share primarily plant-based foods on this channel, but as many of you know, maybe some of you don't know, this isn't a fully vegan channel. And I personally have shared my own like story with how I eat, and I'll link that video down below for you if you're interested in watching it, as well as up here in the corner. But basically, I follow a mostly plant-based diet, so I still eat things like eggs and honey and fish from time to time. And I have created some delicious recipes that use one of my favorite fish, which is salmon, and I thought that I would share them with you today. I know that there is a group of people that follow this channel that are vegan, and these recipes are not gonna be interesting to you, so if that's you, I totally understand. You can check out the many other videos I have that are full of vegan recipes. But if you are somebody that eats a little bit like me and you do have fish from time to time, then hopefully you will enjoy these recipes and you'll end up trying them. For me, I personally like to purchase wild Alaskan salmon. I buy it at my local grocery store or I buy it at Whole Foods, um, but you can use any variety that you like. And I also actually think that this would work with other types of fish as well. I haven't tested it, but I do think it would work with other types of fish if you are not a salmon fan. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into today's new recipes. All right, so this first recipe, I just want to say that I was testing getting my video filmed outsourced and the quality might not be quite up to par, but I still wanted to include it because it's a really great recipe and I think you guys are really gonna like it. So let's get into it. We're gonna start by patting dry our salmon, adding it into a baking dish. From there, you are going to add some Dijon mustard just on top. And then for our topping, we're gonna add some sliced almonds as well as some cooked quinoa and some honey into a bowl. Stir that together and that is going to be our crunchy coating. So you'll just put that coating right on top of each piece of fish and then you'll bake it at 425 for a good 12-ish minutes until the salmon is nice and flaky and done. And I love this one because it has that little bit of crunch, it has a really nice sweetness from the honey, and the mustard is also absolutely delicious, adds like a nice tang and just kind of a brightness to the whole thing. I find that this is just like a really simple, easy, delicious baked salmon recipe. Number two is my favorite salmon salad of all time. We're gonna start by roasting our potatoes. So we have potatoes that we chopped up and we're gonna add them onto a baking sheet, drizzle them with olive oil, sprinkle them with salt and pepper, and then you're gonna to toss them together. Pop them in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes. While the potatoes are baking for their first half, we are going to prepare the salmon. So I add my pieces of salmon into a little tin foil, I call it a boat, but drizzle them with a little bit of tamari. And then I like to do some pepper on top, and I do a lot of pepper, it's really good. And then once the potatoes have reached the 10 minute mark, you're gonna remove the pan from the oven, give the potatoes a quick stir, and then you're going to add that tin foil boat with the salmon onto the baking sheet and pop everything back in the oven for another 10 minutes. While we're finishing with the baking, we are gonna make our salad. So we're gonna add whatever sort of greens you want as your base. I did a mix of mixed greens as well as romaine. And then salad toppings, again, I would say that they're totally up to your preference, but for this one, I love to do sliced cabbage, sliced carrots, and scallions. And then dressing wise, I usually keep things pretty simple. We always have Matt's shallot dressing on hand and we keep it in like a little salad dressing container. And that's pretty much what I use exclusively on my salads. So I will link that recipe down below for you if you wanna try it, it is absolutely delicious. And then I just toss it all together and that's pretty much it. Here are our gorgeous baked potatoes and our peppery salmon. Oh my God, so good. And then for serving, I just transfer the salad in between our two salad dishes put the potatoes on top. I like to do a little bit of pumpkin seeds or something crunchy on top as well. And then we each get a piece of fish and that is it. This is honestly like my favorite salad. I've been making it during quarantine so much. It is so delicious and we have it at least once a week in this house. And then lastly is an old recipe that I really wanted to update because it is so good. It is my sweet potato salmon cakes. We are gonna start by steaming two cups of chopped sweet potatoes. It's about one medium sweet potato. I peeled it, chopped it, put it in a steamer basket, added some water, and steamed the potatoes for a good five to seven minutes until they're fork tender. Once they are tender, you can let them cool a little bit and then add them into your mixing bowl. And then you're gonna use a fork to just mash them into a kind of puree. It doesn't have to be totally smooth, but just mash them down a little bit. 
Once you have mashed them, you are going to add your salmon. So I like to use canned salmon for this recipe because it's quick, it's easy, it's accessible. But if you want to use fresh salmon, you can do that as well. Well, you do cooked salmon. And it's six ounces of salmon total. And then we'll also add in some cooked quinoa as well as two eggs. And I like to just beat the eggs together so that I can get them evenly incorporated before I mix everything together. And then some scallions, a little bit of flour. I used quinoa flour here, some salt and some pepper. And then you are going to just stir this all together like you would any sort of dough slash batter. And once it all comes together, it is gonna be a fairly wet batter, but that's okay. Um, the eggs are going to help solidify it as it cooks. You're going to just scoop it into a little patty sized thing in your hand. And this recipe makes six patties. So just kind of eyeball it a little bit and we are going to pan sear them. So I just heat a little bit of olive oil in a pan. Once it's hot, I add my salmon cakes and I just let them cook until they are golden brown. This was a little bit more than golden brown, <laughs> slightly burned, but very good. And flip them over and let them cook for another few minutes on the other side. And then I like to put them on a paper towel lined cooling rack and I let them cool. They kind of firm up a little bit as they cool. And for serving, I love to do these on their own or on top of a salad. So for this one, I'm just doing a generous slather of Kite Hill cream cheese, the chive one. It is so good with these. And then I finished it with some fresh jalapeno, chopped up jalapeno, and some lemon juice. And that's it. So good. These are great for meal prep and they taste delicious. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what you think. If you end up making these recipes, please come back to this video and let us know what you think. I also wanna encourage you that if you are not somebody that eats salmon, I'm surprised that you're this far into the video, but if you're still here watching, um, I encourage you to just please be kind in the comments. I know there are a lot of vegans that follow this channel, and I have said time and time again that this is not a vegan channel, so. You are welcome to share your opinions, but please keep them positive and kind if possible. Otherwise, all of the recipes are linked down in the description box for you. You guys are the best and I hope you enjoyed them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. And if you are not yet part of this community here on YouTube, you can tap the red button that is right below this video that says subscribe and that will subscribe you. Otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.